Welcome to Mal Chefin. My name is Chef Fran, and today we are making comfort food. And what better comfort food than like a pasta, which we're using fettuccine and not spaghetti, and meatball surprise. Most people, if they're meat lovers or they eat meat, they love meatballs. And that's such a quick dish to make, affordable, and surprise because we're gonna, you know, Ma Chef in here, we like to add our own little twist to everything. And so we're gonna do that at our twist. And I want to change it up and not do spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs, right? Because it's typical to do spaghetti and meatballs. So I'm doing fettuccine and surprise meatballs. So on here on deck, we have our pasta sauce. We have our bell peppers, red and yellow. We have our diced tomatoes. We have our carrots. We have our onions and garlic. We have our ground beef, of course. That's, you know, we need our beef to make our meatballs, right? And hmm, our surprise is here on deck. Our surprise is some fresh mozzarella cheese balls and spinach. Yeah, give you a pack full of nutrition. And, you know, we have our seasonings here, which is our onion powder, garlic powder, even though we have fresh onions and garlic, you know, have a little bit more flavor. We have our Montreal beef seasoning. We have some Italian seasoning. And we have a little brown sugar to kind of tone down the acid from the sauce. And so, oh, and we have our fresh basil. Mmm, basil in your pasta sauce, so good. And the smell is so aromatic. Awesome, the herb. And we have our fettuccine and myself. I like to clean my meat. And so, whether it's poultry or it is a beef, we have lemon juice and we're gonna make some lemon juice into our ground beef just to kind of like, for me, feel like making it feel a little clean from all the hands that have touched it in the pack of plant, basically. Um, so that's how I like to do all of my meats. I like to throw some form of acid on it, whether it's vinegar or it's lemon juice. In this case, I can't really rinse it off because the meat is already grounded in mints. So I can't put a whole bunch, but I put just enough that I feel and mix it into the meat. Generally, all the other ones, I'll let it soak in for like a few minutes and then rinse it off and, you know, go on with my seasoning. But in this case, we're gonna leave it in the meat. And so we're gonna get into our vitamin content and I'll be back. Fettuccine has vitamins B, folate, niacin, riboflavin, and thiamine, olive oil, vitamins E and K, Himalayan salt, calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium, black pepper, A, B2, B6, C, folate, niacin, potassium, butter, A, B12, D, E, and K2, ground beef, B6, B12, iron, psyllium, and zinc, lemon juice, C, B6, potassium, onions, B6, C, folate, magnesium, potassium, garlic, B6, C, manganese, psyllium, bell peppers, A, B2, B6, C, folate, niacin, and potassium, carrots, A, beta carotene, biotin, and potassium, diced tomatoes, A, C, E, potassium, it's a great source of fiber also, Montreal seasoning, a, C, D, calcium, iron, potassium. Onion powder, B, C, calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium. Garlic powder, B6, C, calcium, iron, and magnesium. Italian season, B, C, K, calcium, iron, magnesium, and manganese. Fresh mozzarella, A, B12, D, E, and calcium. Spinach, C, E, K, calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium. Pasta sauce, A, B, C, E, K, and potassium. Basil, A, C, K, calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese. Brown sugar, calcium, copper, iron, potassium. 
parsley, A, B, C, K, calcium, iron, and magnesium. Real facts, 15% of people who live in rural areas are food insecure. Meanwhile, 12.7% of people in the metropolitan area are food insecure as well. To learn more, visit us at jdhcdc.org. So there's lemon juice right here on top of the ground meat. I'm just gonna mix it in. Turns it a little brown when you put the acid on it. That's my way of just kind of washing it up since I can't really rinse it out. And I want our meatballs to be full of veggies. And I love color because color represents nutrition to me, a burst of color. So we're gonna start to put our seasoning in here and then we'll add our vegetables. So first up, we're gonna add our Montreal seasoning, all of it. Okay. Next up, we're gonna add our, this is our onion powder. Then we have our garlic powder. That's good. We're gonna add our Italian seasoning. Start putting in our garlic, our fresh garlic. Then we're gonna add our fresh onions. We want our meatballs to remain soft and succulent and not dried. So this really kind of helps keep it nice and moist. And let's go into our carrots being here. Carrots gives it like that little sweetness. And we will put our bell peppers here another thing that helps keep our meatballs nice and juicy and moist and so let me just mix these all together before we roll our meatballs so I just basically flattened my meat almost like a mini slider so I could take my mozzarella cheese and my spinach in here and just kind of close it back up, hide it back up in here. And I'm gonna just roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Our meatball surprise. So when you bite inside, you'll have this nice gooey cheese and your vegetable of your spinach in here. So we're gonna do some more together. So I'm just kind of, I guess, estimating how big the meatball to make it. I'm not scooping it out or anything for size portion. So some might make it a little bigger one, some might make it a little smaller one. It's okay. So I'm putting my spinach in here. Okay. Two pieces of spinach leaves. And we're gonna put our mozzarella ball. Close this up. And we get to rolling. And we get to rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Now, you obviously know when you cook ground beef, if it has 
a fat ratio in it like 80 20 85 15 90 10 you know that smaller portion is generally the fat you know that's what actually makes your meat taste really great it's the fat you know like steak they have the fat and it's the marbling and the ground beef you know the fat is what gives you that juiciness so your meatballs is going to shrink a little bit because of the fat reduction so here we go got a spinach here we'll put our meatballs here and we're going to cover it up and we're not going to let anyone know we have this wonderful meatball surprise for them in here Keep rolling, 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 rolling. So we can form our meatball secure and closed up. Okay, so here's our fettuccine pasta. And actually, this is how I usually get my pasta in. Kind of like move it around in the pot. It's my own way of doing things. You don't have to do it this way. I don't want to break it up, so I kind of want to keep them long still. So that's why I was trying to get them in the pot that way. So now what I try to do, since um, I'm trying to get in the pot the long way, is that now I try to always, I did put some Himalayan salt in here. Um, it's like the only time to like really season your pasta. Um, you should read, I like my pasta al dente. Um, generally the box will tell you how many minutes to get al dente. This brand says 12 minutes, but I'm gonna check it in 10. And I'll be checking between 10 and 12. Um, because mushy pasta is not tasty nor fun. Now, the reason I'm playing with the pasta is because I don't want it to stick. So I did put some olive oil in here. But if you keep moving it around, it won't stick together. So that's why I'm using tongs to kind of spread them and to get them to move around so they don't stick together. This is our meatballs. We actually decided to just put it in the air fryer and let it cook there. And so now I'm gonna transfer it and put it in our sauce. Um, my own sauce that I made that we're now gonna let it simmer in the sauce. And this is our pasta. It just came out. I want you to see our meatballs and our sauce. How wonderful, delicious meatball in our basil sauce our meatball surprise in our sauce look how good that looks now we're gonna have it with our fettuccine we're gonna be good to go here's our fettuccine with our pasta sauce a homemade pasta sauce with our meatball surprise, which was stuffed with spinach and fresh mozzarella cheese. And we just topped it with the basil leaf and some grated Parmesan. Well, here is our beautiful fettuccine pasta with our homemade sauce and our stuff, our meatball surprise, which was stuffed with spinach and a spinach leaf I have put in it with fresh mozzarella and you get to see the cheese right here from the fresh mozzarella here's a fresh mozzarella cheese 
And of course, here's our fettuccine. We just topped it off with a fresh basil leaf and some grated Parmesan. So let's dig in. We cooked our pasta al dente. And I showed you that. Okay. okay it takes a sauce in a minute. I don't wanna. Hmm. Don't wanna make a mess. Hmm. Oh, the sauce is so yummy. Wish I had some bread to like dip in it. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna now taste our meatball surprise. <laughs> Excited for this, full of vegetables. Look at that mozzarella right here. Look at that, look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. The veggies make it so flavorful. Mm. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Mozzarella. Mm. Truly a surprise. Mm-hmm. Totally delish. Pasta cooked to perfection. Pasta sauce. Delicious. My pasta sauce. Love it. All of the crew seems to love it. The meatballs, so tender, favorable because of the vegetables, out of this world. Mm. This is easy to make. Listen, if you don't want to stuff your meatballs and make it a surprise, you don't have to. You can make meatballs where you're comfortable, but it's economic and totally delicious. It just kind of gives a little flair from your usual spaghetti meatball. So we want fettuccine to kind of change up the pasta. And we decided to just do a little surprise in the meatball. Um, so if you just want to do straight vegetables instead and add no cheese, that's fine too. Whatever you like, it's all about what is appealing to you, what's affordable to you, and so I think comfort food generally tends to be affordable and it's all about what is the comfort to you. So here's our call to action. Don't forget to click the like button by giving us the virtual hug. When you do that, that lets me know that you are loving what I'm doing and it's encouraging others and myself, you know, my whole team to know that, hey, we ha we're on to something, let's continue to create. Cooking is all about reinventing the wheel, creating a new wheel, as I always say. It's about passion. It's about love. It's about what makes you happy, what's enjoyable to your palate and your loved one's palate. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can know every time we upload a new video and share. Sharing is truly the best form of showing us that you're really with us and flattering to us. It shows that you care and others want to know about us. So you should be the first one to tell them. Um, I want to thank you for hanging out with us today. It really means a lot to me that you ate with me virtually today while I ate physically. And I would love for you to make this eat physically and let me know how it came out for you. Did you use fresh mozzarella cheese? Did you use another cheese? Did you not use any cheese at all? Um, so I definitely want to hear from you. We do answer the comments. And also if you're new to this channel, welcome. 
We greet you with a great big hug here, Ma Sheffin. Um, and we really enjoy you hanging out again today. Thank you so very much. We love you. Oh, and you know, I got to let you know, I got to taste this again. And let you know what the real deal is again. I'm loving every bite of this. I'm loving every bite of this. So come on, make this. Thank you for hanging out. We love you. Bye.